Hey guys, so today I have the Halloween collection from 9-0. 9-0 is my own brand that I do make and sell myself. So there are six polishes coming out in this collection. In addition to that, a Swamp Thing from last year's Halloween collection, and then the October Polish of the Month will also be releasing on the same day, while well, Swamp Thing will be re-releasing, whatever. So the pre-order for these polishes is gonna start September 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern time, and it's going to run to October 5th at 11 59 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm doing a little bit shorter of a pre-order because they are releasing a little late and I want to make sure that I have time to get them back in stock so people can get them if they don't want to pre-order and get them before Halloween. So that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So there are six polishes all together here and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Jack-O-Lantern Juice and this is an orange curly base with black shredded glitter. So here's one coat. And this one is just a little bit light, a little bit sheer on that first coat, and there aren't quite enough flakies. You really need two coats to get the right amount of flakies, so it does need two. I think the formula is good. It doesn't run or pool anywhere. It's pretty easy for me to control. Obviously, I can't speak for everybody, but I think it's good. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. It does dry dull, which you can see, so you definitely will want top coat. So there is two coats of jack-o'-lantern juice. The next polish is called Tricks No Treats, and this is a white curly base with metallic shredded purple, green, and orange glitter. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on that first coat, so you will need one or two more. I'm going to do three total, but some people can use these kind of polishes and they'll be fine with two. It just depends on your preference. Again, I think the formula is pretty good. Like the last one, doesn't want to run or pool anywhere, and it's pretty easy to control. So here's two coats. So you can see this one covers pretty well on that second coat. You really can't make out the nail line or anything, but I like the base to be like white, white, white. So I'm going to do a third coat just to make it a little bit whiter. And you might not even see a difference, but it'll be there for me. This one also dries matte, so you will want a top coat. So here's three coats. And this one covers completely. It really was there in two, but like I said, I like that base to be super, super white. When it dries, the flakies will feel a little bit rough, so you will want or shredded glitter. I always interchange those, but they're not the same thing. The shredded glitter will stick up, so you will want top coat. So there is three coats of Tricks No Treats. This next polish is called Black Cat Optional, and this is a silver holographic micro glitter base with a little bit larger holographic orange and black glitter and then white dots. So here is one coat. So this is a glitter, so it is going to take a couple coats to build up. You could also use it as a topper if you wanted to. Again, I think the formula is good. It's not thick for a micro glitter. It applies pretty easily. So here is two coats. And I'm only going to do two coats for this one. If you look very, very closely, you can still see some nail space between the glitters. But there's so much sparkle to this that it is very, very, very hard to pick it out. And I don't think that it's worth that third coat. This is a micro glitter, so it's also going to be difficult to remove, and it's going to take one or two coats of top coat because the glitter is going to eat that top coat up. So there is two coats of Black Cat Optional. The next polish is called The Witching Hour, and this is a black holographic micro glitter with holographic orange, purple, and green micro glitters in there as well. So here is one coat. And obviously this is a bit sheer on the first coat. It will need more than one. I think the formula is good. Again, it's not thick like a lot of micro glitters can be. So here's two coats. So this one also covers almost completely on that second coat. You can still see some spaces between the glitter where you can see through to your nail. But if you do like just a little bit of dabbing on those spots, you can avoid that third coat. And this one will dry very textured because it is micro glitter and it will be difficult to remove. So there is two coats of The Witching Hour. The next polish is called Cauldron Fire and this is a black jelly base with holographic orange micro glitter. So here's one coat. And the base in this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. Again, I think the formula is good, not too thick, not too thin. So two coats covers completely on this one. It does dry a bit dull, so you will want top coat. And that will help smooth out that glitter as well because the base is going to dry down a little bit smaller than the glitter will, so glitter is going to stick up and feel a bit gritty without top coat. So there is two coats of Cauldron Fire.
And the last polish is called Spooky Lights, and this is the Halloween version of Twinkle Lights. So this is a holographic base with black, purple, green, and orange micro glitters. So here is one coat, and this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. The glitter distributes pretty evenly. You might have to do some manipulation to get it spread out, but not much. So here is two coats. This one covers pretty well on the second coat. You can totally get away with two. But I prefer to do three just to cover up that little bit of nail line that you can see. In direct sunlight, when the hollow is super, super shiny, I don't think you'd be able to see it. But indoors, you can make it out. So here's three coats. And this one does cover completely in three. And this will be a little bit textured, but not terrible. So there is three coats of Spooky Lights. So it is very difficult for me to pick favorites of my own polishes, but um, since I don't do like Crellies and cream-based polishes very often, these two I think are my favorites just because they're a little bit different from what I'm used to doing, which is Jack-O-Lantern Juice and Tricks No Treats. So I like those ones just because, like I said, they're a little bit different than what I usually do. So again, those are releasing on September 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time for pre-order. Um, I will link the website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.